Okay, welcome to our third HTML tutorial. Um, in our previous tutorial, we covered this mockup right here. Um, let's go over to our browser and launch it in our browser so that we can view it. Localhost slash first website slash index.php. Okay, right here you see um, this is the content of the paragraph element. This is the paragraph element we had right here. Okay, now if we go towards the top of the browser, we see my first web page. This is the title right here my first web page. Now, the title is very important, especially for um, search engines such as Google. If you search for anything in Google, web, let's say web developer, all these links you see here are reflective of the title elements within the, these web pages. Okay, so Google picks up, the main thing Google picks up is the title um, element right here and displays it to uh, the, the user searching. So, whatever you search for in Google, the links you find here are, in fact, um, contents of the title elements on these web pages right here. So, let's close this out. Okay, now uh, we created this paragraph tag. Let's take this out. Okay, this tutorial is going to be about um, HTML form elements, which is uh, the HTML input text and the HTML, HTML submit button. Okay, now before we do the input text element and the submit button element, we need to put in form tags. Okay, form tags are very important. Okay, with the form within the form tags, we have we need to put in two attributes. One is action, which tells the browser where to send um, data once the form has been submitted. So we're going to say we're going to send the data right back on this page right here. So we're going to go index index.php. Okay. Um, the method the method the method tells the browser how to send the, the the data on the page. Now there are two main ways to um to tell the browser how to do this. The the one is get which one which is the one we're gonna be using the get method. The get method allows the data to be visible okay in the the, the, the browser box right the URL box right here. Okay so we're gonna use uh the get method. Okay within the, the, the form elements now we're going to put our first input element okay slash input now we're only going to use we're going to use one um, input tag we're not going to use two so input uh, type which tells the browser what type of input okay we're going to use text so because we want to input text the name the name is very important, um, especially for languages such as PHP. PHP will grab onto the name and manipulate the data based on the name they, 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 they got. Okay, so name, let's call it TXT box. Right? And um, let's give it an ID. ID is very important for um, languages such as JavaScript, right here. Okay, so that because the JavaScript language will grab onto the ID and manipulate the text input box. Okay, now we need let's put a break here. Break. Okay, and below it we're going to put another input. Okay, um, the type this time we're going to put equals password. Okay, and the name, let's call it pass. Okay, we could give it, okay, we didn't put the, the, the text box ID. Let's, let's go back to it, txt, box. Now we could give it the ID of anything, I just call it text box. So it doesn't matter. Um, the name, we're going to call it pass as well. But we could give it a name. I'm sorry, the ID, we're going to call it pass as well, but we could give it an ID of anything. Okay. Okay, now, let's put in two labels. One will be the username. 
okay and the other will be password okay let's run this in our browser to see how it looks let's save it control s localhost slash first website slash index of php you see right here we have the two input boxes right here now if we type in this username right here you see the text is visible to us however if we type in the password right here because we, we give it a type of password right here okay, if we type in the password right here the, you can see the text is, is hidden from the user okay now we're going to put another break okay and within below the password we're going to put the submit button so but it, the submit is the same as the input however the type okay is going to be submit okay um, let's give it an ID for JavaScript um, let's give it an ID of BTN okay and also okay let's 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 run this I want to show you something here control s okay this is the button input type submit and ID this is the button right here now you see we have a default of, of submit we can change this if we want to by putting a value of let's say send okay let's save it control s you see now we have it sent right here now let's put in um, since we use get I, I need I need to show you something here since we use get right here like I said the get the method get of sending data will enable the data to be visible to everyone so let's go over to the browser let's go back to the browser right here second okay let's refresh it now whatever we type in here since we're using get and we click send you see that data is sent to our 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 header right here the URL is sent to the URL index.php the question mark will auto that automatically be placed the text box right here this is the name we have we have right here for our text box this is the name right here and the contents of that text box will be placed right here and this will auto, the and sign here will automatically be placed and the pass which is our password right here and the contents will be placed right here now we don't want this we don't want people to see our password right here so what we're gonna have to do is this instead of get we're gonna use post okay control s now let's reload the page index.php okay now since we use post save this the contents are not going to be shown to 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 the users so whatever we type in here and we submit it you see it submits but the content is not shown to the user because we use post instead of get okay so let's go back okay so let's let's recap what we did here okay so the form element right to uh, to to the form element requires two attributes the action attribute which will send which will tell the browser where to send the data and the method attribute which will tell the browser browser how to send the data within the form elements we put our two input elements we have input type text which is a, a text box um, the name and the ID and we have the password input type password which will which will hide the contents of the input of the input box and the name pass and ID 
pass as well. And here we have our input type submit, the ID, BTN, and the value sent. So basically, this is our, our first um, HTML form element, which is the HTML text input element and the HTML submit button element. Okay. Uh, we have many more tutorials to go after this, but please ensure that you, you subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial.